5,399 pounds, Rockwood 2507S here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an easy towing, lightweight Murphy bed couples camper with a guest sleeping U dinette. Incredibly high, jazzy equipment package. Outside kitchen, huge bathroom, better stable steps, all kinds of high class goodies wrapped up in this little package. One of the many excellent qualities of the 2507S Rockwood here at Halid RV is it's uh, just extremely high level of travel uh, and storage accessibility. With this big deep slide closed, uh, you see that they've got an extra large u dinette It sticks out way past the slide out. And they've got a nice uh, big countertop that sticks out pretty far as well. But they really use their heads on this one. And if you notice, they left enough room here where you can take a travel trailer two steps sideways. You can get back, you can get to the refrigerator, you can get to the bathroom, you can get to the pantry. You can get to basically any storage cabinet you'd possibly need with this one without ever touching the slide out. And that is just a handy dandy feature right there. Now when it comes to Murphy beds, there are very few, if any, really doing it better than Rockwood. I think Winnebago also does a very, very good Murphy bed setup. But as always, Rockwood's doing things here that nobody else is doing. They've made this more of like a theater seat or a cinema seat than anybody else while still maintaining pass-through storage and an easy one-piece folding mechanism. So recently here, they added these handy little uh, swivel stands. So you actually have a nice little spot to be able to set a drink, maybe a little tablet computer to be able to do some work here. Now these are easily removed, but what's kind of cool is you don't need to remove them to work the Murphy bed. If you just spin it like I've done that one over there, the bed can still go up and down just fine. But they've also taken it up another notch with a handy little sort of theater seat kick out thing right here. It's real simple to put up and down, kick your feet up, and that's something I've never seen any other Murphy bed do, and I believe that was an industry first here with the Rockwood family. Now, operating this thing is about as simple as it can be. There's a couple little bullet latches up here on the sides that you just simply disengage. Rockwood's handy enough to give us this little pull strap to make folding down this jackknife as simple as can be. And then, you just pull the wall down. Now there are gas struts built into here to make it so that this is not hard to lift. And there is a locking mechanism so this thing can't go anywhere. So if you do sit up on the headboard area, it's not going to lawn chair you and dump you up there where you could get hurt. More recent addition, Rockwood put this full headboard up front here, which is really nice for a couple reasons. It helps kind of keep these pillows in place, although this strap here is doing most of the work there for us. But it's just handy to have a little place to like put CPAP machines, phone chargers, and you can't really see it from here, but there are power outlets up by that headboard. So again, if you do need one of those evening breathing machines or anything like that, no sweat. Now again, the convenience of the one-piece Murphy bed here is where I think Rockwood really shines through above and beyond most Murphy bed manufacturers. Again, with Winnebago being one of the only exceptions to that. Because with the straps here, you don't have to make the bedding every morning, every night. It's down, you sleep. It's up, you're done. You don't have to, con it's, it's not an annoyance, you know? It's supposed to be recreational vehicles. Recreation, fun, easy, simple. Well, this is accomplishing all of that. Now, the little lock mechanism, there's a little handle right here you pull, and then just like before, I mean, this is about as simple and easy as it gets, and if my chicken arms can do it, guys, anybody can do it. <laughs> anyway, so you lock that in place. Here's a little pro tip from your Uncle Josh. Pull up on the bottom and then pull in on the back, and it drops right down. And then one more thing, whether you do need some evening privacy, if you have a guest on the dinette that we'll see over here, or maybe you just want to quick change your clothes real quick, they do give you a full front wall privacy curtain here so that if you do want that visual break aspect, you do have it available. But it's really what this Murphy bed does in terms of keeping the RV smaller, shorter, lighter, and less expensive that I think make it so attractive. Because what you're doing here is you're getting the seating, the space, the sleeping of a, a bigger super slide camper without the length, weight, and cost of a super slide. That's what a Murphy bed's doing for you. Now, if you like this living room, but you don't want a Murphy bed, then take a look at our 248 RBS Freedom Express that we have here at Halid RV, and I think you're gonna like what you find. Basically, if you just tack a bedroom in front of that sofa right there, that's pretty much what you got. Now, we do have an open feeling vaulted ceiling in here, so that does uh, let it breathe a little bit, and even this little camper gets full central air. There's so many lights in here, I still missed one. Now, this does have one switch cabin lighting, but as you see, you can still go through and click everything off, and you do have dual ducted central airflow in here to give you some really great breezes. Now, remember, what we're looking at 
Uh, it could be very different from what I have in stock right now. Like, this is the um, chocolate decor with the uh, American Maple hardwood cabinet door upgrade and the wood print flooring swap. So, cosmetically, you could see something else that is nearly identical, but, er, uh, well, in terms of equipment, but cosmetically, it could look very different. That's what I'm getting at. I'm sorry. Anyway, so remember that this video could be different from one, the one that we have. Now, we'll open all the storage up in just a minute here, but I want to take note. You see that big uh, closet pantry right there, right in the slide out. That's what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things, where they always find a way to kick it up a notch like Emerald. Bam! They, uh, they extended the slide like an extra foot because they had the room to do it but what that creates is extra storage space you will never regret and here's what i encourage you to ask yourself could you ever regret having that extra storage and i don't believe the answer is ever going to be yes now on the flip side could you regret ever not having that and i think the answer is easily maybe yeah you could so more storage is always going to be better than none but they did it uh, without extending the RV, this is 25 feet, 11 inches, tongue to bumper, tip to tail. Now, when it's in the daytime position, obviously, we just have this nice uh, living arrangement here with that sort of pseudo-cinema seating that we already talked about. But notice, each side of the bed at night still benefits from its own hanging closet and its own little individual dresser drawer. Smart, smart stuff. Again, these little swivel side stands are removable, and there are um, going to be outlets in some form or another on each side of the bed. Over here you see you've got both household and USB, plus you have a dedicated light switch to the lights just in front of this curtain space right here. Now as we turn, Rockwood did something different here that at first really off puts people, And but hang with me guys, and I think you're gonna see why it's not a big deal and you're actually gaining in the exchange. Now, most manufacturers who build a floor plane like this, they're going to put the TV against that wall right there. And it's not really visible from the dinette. And Rockwood said, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we move the entertainment center? What if we put the TV up here on a pivot mount so that it could face the bed, it could face the sofa, it could face the dining, it could face anywhere you want. And then they said, you know what, as long as we're doing that, let's put all the entertainment here in one handy spot. You've got a Bluetooth DVD player with HDMI expansion ports in case you wanted to add like streaming sticks or something like that. Now, uh, we're starting to get into the kitchen space, but so that's, that's where you look at this, you say, I can't believe these guys, you just got done talking about storage, and they removed storage. They didn't remove it, they just moved it. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. Because as we pan down, you see you've got that uh, full, big, and that is a breeze window here in the kitchen. But this is where you start to notice some of the other differences, like that cinema-style seating. That's a good indicator that you're looking at a brand here that is willing to do it a little bit uh, uh, above and beyond. The lighting from outside is really not cooperating right now. But here in the kitchen, you can also see that we have solid surface counters. Standard. You have your split sink cover with little drying rack. We have stainless sinks. We have nicer fixtures, nicer appliances. We have a larger 22-inch oven and a flush mount tempered glass stove top on there as well. So you've got maximum prep space in an otherwise small area. Now the bathroom door is half hiding it right now, but you do have a full gas electric fridge over here. And something we like to do at Halid RV is we like to upgrade the refrigerator door panels to that uh, American maple hardwood to match the cabinet doors. And that's the thing. If uh, this maple hardwood upgrade, it is an actual hardwood cabinet door and raised panel insert versus a flat panel common cabinet door with no uh, with just a flat panel insert. But down below here, this is where you start to see uh, where the uh, majority of the kitchen storage really comes into play. Starting with this huge cabinet under the countertop, you see that they gave you uh, max height doors for easy, easy access to this, like mega pots and pan storage. Now, you might note that does pass all the way through to the other side of the counter under the sink, and they do give you an access door on the other side as well. Before we get there, though, we're greeted with a pair of plywood full extension drawers down here uh, on ball bearing glides, and above that, you want to set up shop and get some uh, prep space. They give you a solid surface matching oversized countertop extension. That again, is Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Now, as we pan over here through the slide out over top, you see they give you full overhead storage in the slide, and that's something a lot of brands don't do. Now, that table looks kind of funny sticking up there, but I wanted to really highlight the fact that with that elliptical base, you have a full free-floating table here. So if you want to put it in front of the theater seat 
or cinema seat or whatever you want to call it for dining time or movie time or take it outside for picnic time you can you can also sleep on it which we'll see in a minute now over here remember they added that extra pantry or closet right it, when you walk in right next to the bedroom but you notice there's a hanging rod on a shelf right below it well the good news these shelves are all removable here so if you want to turn that into a vertical broom closet or something you can it's very simple and easy they've really given you maximum control over maximum storage space now both sides of the booth dinette have uh, easy access drawers that pop open to you so you don't have to go digging on your hands and knees to get to the storage inside the dinette and you're thinking yeah but what about that rear bench? Well, you have two ways. You can lift the cushions to get to it, like most trailers, or you can get to it from outside, and we'll see that as we go. Note, too, that there's always uh, power outlets nearby, any sort of seating or sleeping area. Now, as we come over here, did you notice that light kick on? So when they moved the entertainment center, you might have sacrificed a small cabinet overhead, but look what you gain in exchange. Like I said, you did not remove storage in a 2507S Rockwood. They only moved the storage. And now you've got more pantry space here than any other comparably sized Murphy bed could ever hope to offer. And it's funny, it's a small thing, but it's little things I look for as a person who goes camping. They purposely left the shelves back just a little bit so that again, if you did want a spot to like keep a little quick broom here, you've got a perfect place for it. But then let's look at some attention to detail factors. We open our bathroom door here. We don't want that handle bashing into these nice hardwood inserts. So they give us the Flappy Doodle 9000 to make sure that doesn't happen. That's a technical term, by the way. I had to go to nerd school for several minutes to uh, come up with that. Now, below the oven, there's an extra little bonus storage space because they just don't waste anything here. And that's one of the cool things about this one, whether it's above the slide, whether it's uh, the extra storage in the slide, or whether it's the drawers below the dinette. Uh, or even under the oven. You know, there's never an ounce of space gone to waste in one of these little Rockwoods. Now, I mentioned this when we started our whole adventure here. It's a couple's camper, obviously, but with a full-size U-Dinette, you actually do have a decent adult-size guest space. So, you know, if it can fit adults, it'll fit grandkids, it'll fit big dogs. Throw extra cargo on it in transit. You can do whatever you need. And that's another neat thing is, let's say you're going down the road and you stop and you just don't want to, or you're in a park spot where you cannot open the slide out. Well, you always have the u dinette available for a quick overnight snooze if you just need to rub the sleep out of your eyes. So you always have a sleeping space available in transit. Now, uh, moving back here, the, uh, look at this. They even added a, a second Flappy Doodle 9000. Order now and get the shoes under for free here on this door so that it doesn't punch a hole in the bathroom door when the bathroom door is closed. These guys are just firing on all cylinders here. Now, they Rockwood has always done one of the best bathrooms out there, and I think this is one of the reasons why. They give you more storage space in their bathrooms than just about anybody else I've ever seen. They have done this for years, well over a decade now, and I've seen a lot of other brands who have kind of jumped onto this concept right here really succeed a lot in the marketplace because all your towels your extra clothes your personal items your body washes your toiletries you actually have a dedicated space for them but this bathroom has even more storage we haven't even seen yet before we get there though we do have this big radius shower with an angle mounted skylight now we're going to actually walk on the roof of this camper later and i'll explain why i stress angle mounted here but what you get here is a split open easy entry shower mechanism so you don't have to go stepping over a big travel trailer tub and then again rockwood doing rockwood things the little extra shower caddy they have here because these corner shelves in these campers are about worthless it actually gives you a, an easy place to be able to put a bottle of shampoo body wash anything like that now something i haven't talked about but maybe you have noticed is there are not floor vents in the floors of these uh, Rockwood Mini Lights. That makes this thing very easy to keep, uh, you know, neat, clean, and tidy. Um, great countertop space here in this one as well. So you actually have a place to be able to set down, like, blow dryers and shavers. And just the little extra toothbrush holders and stuff. Just the Rockwood going over the top Rockwood things. Now up top here, when you see a power vent fan in a Rockwood, it's going to be the Max Air vent fan, and if I get up close here, you can actually see the roof vent cover fins built right into this. That's just one of those things where, once again, they go further. And then, over here, above the outside kitchen, 
you have one of the biggest chunks of wide open real estate with which you can do whatever you want I could imagine in a small camper like this. You want to throw shelf stacking organizer units in here. you got big stuff you want to put in here. You've got no shortage of space. You've got so many different dedicated closets, pantries, storage compartments, anything and everything, inside, outside, upside down, and in between. There's a reason. <laughs> There's not one. There's a lot of reasons. With that being one of them, the Rockwood is and has been the number one selling thing in its class for so long now that it's just a race for number two at this point. Now, Rockwood is a uh, very well-respected manufacturer. They're actually number one in two categories. They're number one in laminated lightweight trailers like we're looking at, and they have been for many years. And they're also number one in folding campers like pop-ups. So it's uh, pretty impressive they've been able to, uh, you know, top the heap in two different categories simultaneously. Uh, the, a lot of reasons for it, you know? Higher level of quality uh, control, consistency. Nobody's perfect, but they do work to try to be as close to that as they can. They're also just doing things and offering things others simply are not. Now, quick note on construction here. We do have a uh, automotive front windshield. You can actually tap on that. Uh, and uh, like with keys or something, I don't mean smack it, but tap on it. You can hear the difference between the front and the side windows because it is a windshield up front. It's just a heavier grade glass. We've got an all aluminum structure here. We are laminated roof, walls, slide. Uh, we still have an aluminum structured floor with beams every 12 inches on center, but it has 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking. That's the same general type of construction that you get in like big luxury, heavy duty fifth wheels, like say like a Jayco North Point, Pinnacle, something like that. Uh, we've still got frameless windows all the way around. Now note too, you have not just a pass through storage compartment, but we have uh, like slide side bonus compartments right here. You can see the uh, vertical door on the front of the slide. That is behind that pantry. Remember how that thing was, you know, floor to ceiling, very tall. But this is an extra, extra deep slide. If that pantry went back this deep, you'd never be able to reach something. So they make some of that storage accessible outside. Now it does go up inside here which is kind of an odd shape, but something I thought about is like, if you're a fishing enthusiast or something like that, that's a perfect place to keep your poles kind of up and out of the way. You could mount little pole hangers and stuff in there. Now, all of your um, flip up baggage doors are going to have these handy magnet latches right here. Just makes this thing one hand easily operated. Now we kind of talked about this inside briefly, but this is a better place to get to show you. This is the back side of the dinette storage. So you never have to lift up cushions to be able to get to that and you can see that anything Rockwood builds uh, in terms of furniture is going to be a full aluminum skeleton and it's things like that it's the extra little details like there's nothing wrong with uh, stick built furniture it's fine chances are your sectional sofa at home is probably stick built and it's getting the job done just fine but that's not common in RV production so that is something that I like to point out now you see that uh, beautiful slide awning uh, giving us some extra protection over the slide there. That is an optional piece of equipment that we like to put on our Rockwoods whenever we can for a few reasons. One, less maintenance. Two, reduces the total heat incurred within the slide box because slide outs just simply can't be as thick and as heavily insulated as the main cabin of the RV. So if you think about it, if you sit under the awning uh, of your camper, it's usually to get out of the sun and the heat. Well. It's the exact, that logic applies to the top of your slide box as well. Now, um, the other thing is, when you get that done from the factory, it is holy crap cheaper, Batman, by comparison. It is unbelievably less expensive than having those added aftermarket. Um, now, behind that, behind your uh, axles there, you've got your centralized hookup station. And once again, Rockwood takes it another step up. You've got outside shower on the back wall near the outside kitchen, which is smart. But uh, over here, you've, where you've got your water and electric hookups, you also have an antifreeze inlet, which is just one of those other things to do that Rockwood does where, you know, it's, you don't take the chance now of dropping a, uh, you know, or spilling any of that sticky pink antifreeze through your camper. Of course, we're back up ready. All LED tail and marker lights that last longer, they're brighter, they're safer because they flash faster. Um, we will actually take a jaunt up on the roof when we're done here. The uh, spare tire on the back there is that 
hopefully you never need it sort of uh, insurance policy, you know, kind of like cough medicine. I hope you never need cough medicine, but man, I'm sure glad you got it if you do. One other quick note, this does have an enclosed belly to help with a little bit of that slip streaming down the road as well as uh, kind of keeping critters out and just giving you that little bit of buffer protection in case it does dip down below freezing overnight. If it's gonna stay there, get her winterized. Rockwood gave you a maximum length awning on the 2507S as well. They put it behind the outside kitchen, which is something a lot of people ask for. Uh, even despite having a full-size outside kitchen with that flip-up, uh, sort of like exaggerated compartment door. Uh, a lot of brands will sort of use this as a method of, um, you know, rain prevention itself, and they'll give you a shorter awning. But as we've seen the recurring trend over and over and over and over again in here, um, Rockwood's not about doing things the uh, simple way, and they're just all about doing things the over-the-top way, like a big cabinet out here, and a larger, what is that, roughly 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator. Now down here, a couple things, handy appliance outlet and a real sink with a real drain. And note that these are galvanized rolled steel countertops. Now a lot of brands used to do the swing out stove top to make it easier to access, but a lot of brands quit doing the swing out stove top to make it easier to access. You will notice that uh, obviously again, Rockwood's not one of those. And what that creates down here is also a handy extra little storage pocket. Now that TV that we saw inside, easily dismounts and remounts out here to give us like a, a full-on sort of tailgate entertainment station. Now I got some hard sun lines coming in from under that awning, so allow me just a moment to get up here a little bit closer. Now right next to that, we have our grilling station, and the grill is included, but it also includes this handy little work table, which once again uses that galvanized rolled steel material. Now. If you prefer the grill over here, over there, it doesn't matter. There's a gas grill connect down there for the side mount grill. And then there's another one back here for the rear stove top. So you actually have two outside cooking stations. And some people go, well, why? Well, because this is a grill and that's a stove top. And you can cook different things differently on two different fixtures. And again, <laughs> Rockwood does more instead of less. Now, if we get down here, you can see another thing Rockwood does very different, and that is four-wheel independent torsion suspension, not just torsion axles. Long story short, each wheel can move on its own independently. Um, what this allows this thing to do is to turn on, uh, like it's on rails. Like when you're going around corners at high speeds, like those curly Q highway exits, the trailer will try to keep itself flat instead of leaning and trying to pull you off the road. Plus, when you are jackknifing into a campsite, you can uh, get a, a lot less tire scrub on your tires this way. Now over here we've got the more ride stable steps with those adjustable foot pegs, and that's just another one of those really upscale high class features Rockwood's doing. But like anything else they're doing, they're not using the base model version of it. They're using the zero gravity version of it where it will not fall on you. It's self-supporting. And I tell you what, one of the things I like about them as a person who monkeys with thousands of these trailers all the time is when the steps are up like this and you don't have to hold it, Popping that pin and adjusting these legs is so, so much simpler and easier here. Now you can see we've got that uh, extra large uh, entry handle there uh, underneath this full length LED lighting awning. Now it's white underneath which will cascade more indirect light along your campsite. Rockwood also uses an anti-slam entry door right there so that uh, you know the wind doesn't bang anything around. Now we have a simple side mount solar prep right here next to that LED marker light. And remember, all of our tail and marker lights are all LED. And note that Rockwood does take the time to top seal exterior components. But this is one of those little different things. It looks a little funky that uh, you have to kind of take a, a little bit of a dog leg left to get to the storage here. But this is one of the things that Rockwood kind of redefined when it came to Murphy beds. Rockwood was the first manufacturer to give you a one-piece folding Murphy bed with a uh, like uh, me measure of pass-through storage, which is previously something they didn't have. Now you're kind of going, yeah, but that doesn't explain why I have to take a dog leg left to get to this storage space here. And the answer is because of that mega size awning. If you want that longer awning that clears the entry door and the entry door window, uh, the, or ra rather the window next to the, the bed and sofa area, you do have to scoot that baggage compartment forward. So it was one of those far lesser of two evil sort of things because if they didn't do that, this thing would only have the opportunity to have like a, a pitiful little eight foot awning. And I don't think anybody would be happy with that. I know I certainly wouldn't be. So I think they made the right call for sure. Now up top here, first of all, I like the fade on that awning, just looks neat. But secondly, 
Rockwood's roofing is one of the most stable feeling under your feet I've ever been on. Um, you know, there's other roofs that are actually technically rated for more weight, but they have a little bit of a sponge and deflection to them, which they're supposed to for different reasons. What I'm getting at here is this one just feels solid to walk on. And it is fully walkable, obviously. It does have an excellent load bearing rating. Now, a um, couple things I want to point out out here is, first of all, the fact that they are really heavy handed with all of their sealants at Rockwood. They absolutely, uh, you know, lay that on heavily so that you have just no worries of any sort of issues happening from the factory production level. A couple neat things over here. This is the Wi-Fi Ranger, those little black antennas sticking up next to the radio antenna. Long story short, easiest way I can quickly describe that, it's a little bit of an oversimplification, is that it's a built-in router. So, if what you're trying to look for is easier access to mobile data sources, Rockwood is providing that. Now back here, a couple neat things. You can see that when you get a power ceiling vent fan from Rockwood, you're also getting the max air vent cover with it from the factory level. And what I like about that is it's now protected by Rockwood's warranty. It's not an aftermarket add-on. Also, you can see the weird 45 degree angle in which that uh, bathroom skylight is mounted. That's one of the neat things that a laminated roof allows you to do. Because you don't have uh, wooden cross members that you're trying to squeeze a skylight in between, you can mount that skylight anywhere you want. And it allows Rockwood to give you an optimal uh, head clearance inside of the bathroom itself. So, there you have it guys. Uh, I would say quick tour, but you're probably tired of hearing my voice right now. Just like my wife. hi -oh! Anyway, <laughs> she is the greatest. So, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. As you can kind of see, we have a sea of inventory here at Hayliter RV, and we have a full service shop to go with it. So take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone, and remember, we don't do hidden fees at Halet RV, and there's no one that is too far away to do business with us. Give us a call. I don't think you'll regret it.